including damaged cars and knocked down power lines, but amazingly, the pilot and everyone on the ground survived. The crash happened on a residential street in Bayonne, and investigators say the pilot likely prevented a tragedy. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is live for us tonight at the scene with more. Hazel? Well, Jessica, we still don't know what caused the plane to crash right here on Avenue E. Witnesses say it looked like the pilot was trying to avoid hitting cars, power lines, and homes before the plane slammed into the ground. And everyone is amazed that the pilot was the only one to get hurt. It came out of nowhere. Gail Ellerson says she believes pilot George Petway, seen here on a stretcher, was trying to save lives just before he nearly lost his own, crashing his plane in this Bayonne, New Jersey neighborhood. It, the plane, when it came into my sight, it was unstable by then. It, the, it was going back and forth, but it was gearing to the left, which maybe he saw the, sh the gas station. Part of a wing landed near the Shell Station pumps on Avenue E near 41st Street. I was seeing customers as the uh, piece of plane cr uh, came crashing down. I mean, it was just a few feet away from where I was working. Uh, anyone could have died. Including Ellerson, who says she was about to get gas at the station around 10 o'clock Sunday morning. The plummeting plane dragging tree branches and power lines scraped the roof of her white SUV. So if I was a little bit up more, I, you know, up further, it, it probably would have hit the back. It, it would have went into the back of my car. That's how low the plane was. The single-engine Piper PA-28 aircraft flipped over, landing upside down just a few yards from Anthony and Rose Palmasano's home. Their car and three others severely damaged. I ran to the window and I seen it go by and I heard boom. It was really scary. As soon as we opened the door, that's when the accident happened. We have one plane down. We have one confirmed victim. The 56-year-old Wheatley Heights Long Island pilot traveling alone departed. Parted from Long Island's Republic Airport in East Farmingdale. Witnesses say he was alert immediately after the crash, and police say he has been speaking with investigators. From what I understand, he had complications over the Statue of Liberty, and he decided to take this route. The Federal Aviation Administration will be looking at the aircraft to figure out what went wrong, while others are grateful for what went right. It could have been a disaster. We, we were very lucky. Now, there was no fire after the plane crashed, so firefighters didn't have any extra challenges removing the pilot from the plane. He was taken to Jersey City Medical Center and was last listed in stable condition. We're live in Bayonne, New Jersey tonight. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Amazing. Thank you, Hazel.